What's going on, YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online, www.whatsupinthesky.com. It has been a while, and I apologize. I haven't put any videos out. Um, website's still going strong. My buddies over there always putting up the good news and uh, adding things to the forum. Check them out. And I wanted to familiarize you with this one area today, and I'm going to show you a, a mosaic of it that... Uh, Washington University at St. Louis puts together and they take the PDS and they they really make it easy to use for beginners um, which I'll show you guys in another day but I got I got them pulled up already and the things in these actual I mean it's amazing some of the stuff here and I know we've got one of mine there we are out of let's see here we go under it I put the NASA shot just so you can see the difference but look at some of the marks on these pictures. I mean, look at this. Some of the stuff is absolutely amazing. The cuts on them, like this one right down here. Check this out. Totally looks like metal that's basically been sitting out there for a very long time. Whether there was a war, whether there was some something happened that just totally destroyed Mars. So let me show you that you know this actually came from Mars as. You, that came from Mars, came from the rovers. And you know what? First, let's go ahead. Well, here they are. That's that's the set. And we're going back. You notice I'm going back to nine, like Sol 979 or 978. It's because these are in the PDS now. So instead of this 70%, uh, you know, pick through, pieced up, I get a, you know, a actual dot image and a dot label that is at full resolution um, especially uh, you can pick from the four or five different times you know f filters on that exact picture so it's actually amazing how the scientific data is much different but you have to learn how to put it together and what what's kind of neat here is this Washington University uh, St. Louis so they put these together and this is able to give you and pretty much almost every saw they do it for too because the rover takes wherever it goes usually it takes a nice uh, surrounding shot see how it I think this one is 41 frames the one I'm going to be using in the next video is got some amazing things in it is going to be I think eight frames I've put it together with some software but here's where we're looking at right now that if that can give you just a little bit of a uh, a perspective so we're talking to me it looks about 20 feet away something like that so these are fairly decent size and if you see it looks like we've got you know piles of rubble everywhere and we've gone through these and especially looked from the top down a lot of them when you really look at the uh, whole area seems to be kind of boxed out like uh, the civilization would be as this is also you know we're just starting to climb up the mountain at this time we're just getting to it running through the buttes and all trying to find a way up so let's check this thing out a little bit more and I'll kind of shut up and show you guys some of this stuff okay this area hasn't aged a lot I mean, I'm sure it has from what it used to be, but what I think we're looking at is a definitely people were monolithic. They were artists. I mean, a lot of they were either technical or it was a civilization like we've got here. But I mean, these aren't. This is a picture that came. This was a dot image file that we put into a PNG got some pretty amazing things in it and I see what I see you see what you see so I lately I'm trying not to be like oh this looks like a loaf of bread or this because that's what they get you with and in the, in the, they always do it they'll link you up to whatever you said no matter even I say I know it's not a loaf of bread and they'll they'll put it in to make me look crazy or look you you know oh they're just looking at rocks now if you can go find a field with this many rocks and this is just one picture right here you know check this stuff out over here one picture one picture okay let's see I know you guys see that and think wow that looks like the head of a I'd have to see that from a couple different angles to say anything about it but it actually does look like it's got some uh, obfuscation on it and whenever you see obfuscation there's usually a reason for it um, well, what's neat about these is the JPEG artifacts don't get mixed in with it. So that, that's definitely a, 
a good thing about these. Okay, here was part of what I was looking at earlier. It's got like a, and and I just don't see how things. Like I said, I've been on mountains, been to Arizona, been to different places. Yeah, here over on the East Coast, there's so many different types of geology. And there's some neat stuff. I've never, you know, I've seen stuff grow up like this, but never where it comes up to like a point where they've got a circle and then there's another little circle on top of it. And it's laying next to stuff that looks like it has slices put out of it. This almost looks to be like half of something that's broken. And of course, everything would be broken. If you have watched a video on like uh, our ancient sites, especially like when they show the videos of them 20 years ago, 30 years ago, some of them are even even further off. I keep doing that. I need to get the other tool and stop doing that. Sorry, guys. Because every time I would, if I need to switch back, it's going to going to go off, but then I don't have my pointer, so, oh well. We will stop doing it. But let's check out some of these curves in it. And then you got these perfect lines. You think if everything was underwater here, or, or something was going on, that it would have a, uh, this stuff wouldn't have lasted this long. You know, the sandstorms, the, probably the water that was on top of it after the civilization was gone, you know, depending on how fast it happened. I think it's uh, Dr. Bradenberg, I think is his name, who thinks there, there were two nuclear explosions. I guess there's, uh, I, he found some sort of traces. I'm not really, I never really looked 100% into his story. We were going to be on a show with him at one time, and we just didn't get a chance to do it. Check this out over here. It's just so, so cool, strange stuff. And like I said, a lot of times I used to be, oh yeah, that looks like a head right here, but... After watching all everybody like all these other videos and especially some of the people that I used to enjoy, like we've got our group, um, you know, UFA, the United Family of Anomaly Hunters. I, I love all those guys and girls. You know, they're great people. Um, but there's some people that really are just like click clickbait. That's all they are. Check this out. Does this look? Like art or technology to you? What do you think? Art, technology, art, technology. Check this thing out. Well, you know, we're talking about something that's sitting up. What I see is something that was like pulverized and basically pulverized by something huge. An explosion. A, uh, you know, um, maybe Mount Sharp blast. Maybe that was part of a uh, something running around and that's how it became the mountain. Who knows? But at some time... An intelligent race was here and uh, utilized these areas. And we've seen on here what look like, you know, I'd say but like fossilized or uh, freeze-dried people. I mean, to the point where the paradoil or tobodoil, whatever they say that word, is it's not your mind. I mean, everybody can see it when they look at it. Like, hopefully you can see that these are uh, have been worked on. And it's got some sort of design in it. Now, of course, nature makes some amazing things. I absolutely agree with that. Just remember, we're only looking at a small area that's, you know, 20 feet off. Wait till you see the next video that's got even more. We're going to look at eight pictures at once, which will be a little bit longer, you know. But as always, if you go to the website, you can. I'm going to definitely put up some of these in. Uh, you know, like here, I'll take this and I'll make sure I crop it out and you'll get a good picture here. And this, this piece right here was one part that sold me. This looks like absolute metal. I mean, it looks like sheet metal or something like that. It was used, God only knows what for, but up here you have what looks like inlaid pieces. It, that just doesn't get made like that. Here, check out over here. I'm moving here. This is next, well, you know what, this is next to the line, that might, that might be nothing, but this looks like it's a, a you know, a gateway type curve to it, you know, just a, I say gateway, they're like, their gateway, a stargate, <laughs> I'm telling you, I go and read some of the articles about it, I type in what's up in the sky on, you know, YouTube, on Google, and some of the stuff is just like a joke. But this, let's say, check this out, piece that out here. That could have easily happened, you know, if something natural. But 
something put stuff on these areas, especially like we you if you go to the channel, I'm I'm asking people to go watch some of the older videos because I'm up to like 700 videos now, and this is a great time while I'm busy to go check some of those out because some of those are the best. I, <laughs> it's like how did this actually occur? You know, this didn't did it affect us? You know, as a planet, I watched something tonight where you know more and more we start pushing back the time frame on Earth. I'm thinking, I mean, we're just a blip in time. Look how far we've gone in just supposedly 2,000 years, but really in the last 200 years, the last 100, you know, the, we're moving fast. How many times could that have happened on Earth? That could have happened, you know, thousands of times and be buried way beneath us, you know, and just gone. I mean, most of us will be gone. I, they trade well, not us, because we, we decided to leave uh, nuclear I won't even get into it. Nuclear power everywhere to boil water to turn turbines, so we all get you know our electricity, which is absolutely insane, you know. And it was all done. We all know why for weapons. So we won't get into that today. <laughs> I used to have a channel where I'd scream and holler and stuff back there in the old Ron Paul elections, but. When he was trying to get brought on in. But anyway guys. I think you should definitely check some of these out from this saw. And you're going to be very surprised when I show you some of the other stuff. Because just like here. You're going to have you know, basically perfect things. Sym symmetry where you cut that thing in half. It's the same. Check this out. It comes out the same inch. We're looking at ruins. Here bam. Comes around. They've got what looks like two little pieces on them. That stuff just doesn't have naturally, not in one picture. This has been, it looks like it's been marked with something. Like it's been carved. Over here, there's another one, you know. And they're in pieces that come up and they look like they've been, this looks like something. Who knows what, could have been art. Like I said, it could have been art. I really love to hear you guys. Anybody who stayed this long, tell me below what, if, if you think this is just rocks. If you think it's, you know, a combination of buildings, because, you know, we build, when we build, usually we build art, you know, a lot of, even when you do in your house, you put statues in the front yard. So if this was maybe uh, buildings like we have anywhere in, in or any major city, you know, rubble, basically, if you go look at some of the pictures of Hiroshima after, uh, after World War II, it was horrible. A lot of it looked like this with not as much, you know, dust and dirt on it over the years it hasn't sustained and who knows how many years you know we don't know barely know our own life and history here who knows how many years so all right guys much love to you come check out some of the best ones let us know what you think are the best ones and uh definitely check out the website it's it's been rocking and rolling love to hear you guys talking in the forum over there all right like i said apologize for not as many videos but hopefully you'll love the ones i put out all right peace